Hi guys. So, I just thought when I was just having some time with the Lord praying that I would do a video log of my healing journey because you'll, saw, you'll see that last week I shared, well earlier in the week I shared that I'm healed of an incurable disease, praise the Lord. And I've heard this before from my really good friend Nelly Kaleva when she shared her testimony about how she was healed of MS and I used to hang on every word that she said about what happened, how she positioned herself to get to that place where she received her healing and then she shared quite a lot about the days afterwards but I almost felt like I wanted to do, uh, to join up the dots for you, to just talk to you about how I feel this is going for me, how I'm walking it out because um, I think it might be really helpful to other people after hearing what happened to me and how I received my healing, what that looks like practically because, you know, being a nurse all my life, um, I'm a really practical person and I like to sort of know how to, the how to about it. So, um, one of the first things that happened after I'd received this healing, I knew that I just had to go and tell everyone. A bit like little Tommy went to tell everybody that his daddy had got a bike. So I have been telling everybody uh, that I'm healed. And you know, I've been feeling so fully persuaded about that, that I've just been telling everybody that I meet. And some people look at me like I'm mad. And I've actually pushed through the embarrassment now because I'm so fully persuaded and so excited. So the first night I told you that he told me to go to bed an hour later than I would do normally. Um, and I did that and that was really great. And each night, because I'm still coming up the stairs at the moment um, in, in, in my house because I'm waiting to have some work done in the house, a lift put in actually. And um, each night I'm probably over the last two two or three months, I've only been able to get up one step and I've needed one of my sons to help me. But actually what's been happening is each night he's been saying to me, do one more step, believe me for one more step. So each night I've been going up one more step, two more steps, three more steps. And each night I can feel him cheering me on. I can visualize him standing there going come on you can do it you can do it yay you've done it and and that's just like really amazing so every time I feel myself faltering and I feel like oh I just keep thinking to myself what would I do if I was healed I'd walk up these stairs so that's been going really great and every night it's been getting more and more um the other thing that he also said to me was that today I was to go up to the porter cabin where we meet at, for a fellowship and he wanted me to go up on my scooter like I normally do but when I get into the porter cabin he told me it was holy ground and that he didn't want me to go into the cabin like I normally would do with my scooter but to take my uh, frame with me which is like a walking frame which is something different you know that's the next step towards my healing isn't it so I got all ready this, you know, last night, got myself all psyched up, got all my stuff ready, got my clothes sorted out, got my, you know, sort of praying about what I was going to bring, so I was going to bring the message this morning. He told me what uh, songs we would be doing and basically kept whispering loads of stuff into my heart about what to share. So I was really excited. So I got up this morning all enthusiastic, whereas normally I'd feel quite daunted if I knew that I had to go out. That's how it's got over the last three months. Since this lockdown, the enemy's been whispering, you know, all this isolation has not been any good for a lot of people, but it hasn't been any good for me. So, um, unfortunately, yesterday it was really hot and that would normally negatively impact me. And so last night I was really hot in bed and I felt myself getting really discouraged and worried. Um, because, you know, if it gets over, much over 28 degrees, my, in the natural my feet have swollen up historically and so this morning when I came downstairs I felt tired even though I got out of bed and I was filled with enthusiasm in the natural in my flesh and I could hear the enemy whispering to me you'll never do it and I was pushing through saying I am do it I am going to do it the Lord is the strength of my life I am the healed of the Lord 
walking in divine good health. I'm being healed. My daddy says I'm healed. Um, got phoned up all the people at the time and told them I'm on my way. Got to the door and I just looked at the steps going up outside and I just could not actually move. And it didn't matter how many times I spoke it out, I couldn't move. So in the end, I had to just sit back down and I had to make the decision because it was getting later and later that I wasn't going to go. And I just felt so condemned. I felt so defeated because I hadn't done what he put into my heart to do. But actually, Harry said to me, well, you know what, Mum? The fact of the matter is you made the decision to go and you got up and you put your head on it and you set your face like Flint and you were going to go. And the fact that you didn't get up the stairs, so what, you know, you... I felt he was saying, in effect, you might have lost this battle, but you haven't lost the war. So I came back into the kitchen, praise the Lord, I was able to join up with the others on the phone and have a, you know, listen into what was going on. And that was a real blessed time. But I just felt him saying to me, there is no condemnation because you're in faith. So it doesn't matter. Just be blessed. And, you know, I've just spent this day just going back into his rest, just feeling, yeah, that I'm really cool here. And so, you know, I came to come upstairs, stayed up for an extra hour and a half tonight, which is amazing. Got to the bottom of the stairs and I felt him saying, don't sit down and have a rest before you go up the stairs. Just go straight up the stairs. So I just just started walking up the stairs. And just one step after the other, after the other. I was doing it. And I got to the second flight of stairs. And I went up two more stairs just doing it. And then I thought about what I was doing. And then I felt myself go, freeze up. So ordinarily, I would have called out to one of the boys and said, can you come and help me? But I just felt him saying to me, my daddy says I'm healed. My daddy says I'm healed. So I just looked up and I said, Lord, you promised that we would call upon you and you would answer us. I'm calling upon you and I'm believing you're answering me and you're saying to me, my daddy's healed me. So I just declared, my daddy's healed me. And I literally, those words took me up the last four stairs. I got to the top stairs and I just feel, yay! And I just wanted to share that, you know, little victories, all these little victories are adding up. And um, just one last thing that he, every morning when I wake up, he's virtually telling me what the instructions are for the day. So I'm keeping my antenna right up, listening to what he says. And yesterday he said to me, you're pregnant. I went, what? And yeah, and I said, what do you mean I'm pregnant? And I just sort of started thinking about it because obviously I've had six children. I know what it feels like when you're pregnant. You you fully know you're pregnant when you're pregnant. You know, your body's changing with all these amazing, miraculous changes going on in your body. When there's a new life growing in you, you just have this progesterone flush and, um, you know, your uh, breasts feel full and you feel this fullness in your belly. It's like being like your premenstrual, that's what it feels like. So that's amazing, isn't it? Because you know what's happened, but nobody else knows. And that's why so many people can conceal it for so long. But you know, that's just what he said to me is going on with me. I know something's changed in me. I can feel the difference physically, spiritually and emotionally. I can feel the difference. But you know, apart from having a bit of a glow, because it's just really bizarre, I can feel this glow of this joy of the Lord coming out of me. You wouldn't necessarily see any difference in me, but I know there's a difference. Anyway, I just wanted to share that up to date um, video log with you about my healing journey. And I shall be back probably next week with the update. But bless you. Hope it's spoken to you and hope this gives you some encouragement. God bless.